You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another anime review. Today I'll be reviewing the anime series Demon Lord Dante. There will be a few spoilers, but I will try not to spoil the ending or some of the more major spoilers, but there will be a few, so you have been warned. So, if you don't know what Demon Lord Dante is, the original manga was written back in 1971, a year before Devilman. And in fact, Devilman was actually made as a more anime-friendly version of Demon Lord Dante. Basically, Demon Lord Dante is the prototype Devilman, in much the same way that Dragon Boy is the prototype Dragon Ball. That being said, it does does definitely have a few things that set it apart as its own separate series from Devilman. And let me also start out by saying that I have not yet read the manga, but I will be reading and reviewing that shortly as well. So Demon Lord Dante follows the story of a man named Ryo Utsuki, who goes to the Himalayas with this group and has this demon named Dante possess him. Dante is this ancient demon god that's supposed to be the most powerful demon. This takes three episodes to happen, and that's a good thing, and let me explain why. There's a lot more buildup with Dante's transformation than there is with, say, Devilman's transformation, at least in the anime adaptations. Because every anime adaptation of Devilman has had him transform in the first episode. Whereas in the manga, there's much more buildup in Devilman. That buildup doesn't really get carried over well to any of the adaptations although they are great. With this, I like the build-up. It takes three episodes, and it's a lot more menacing and creepy with Dante and the visions that he's given and, and all that kind of stuff. Of course, this leads to a big battle between the forces of God versus the forces of the devils. And that's really all I can say with, without spoiling, like, the ending or major plot elements that would affect the ending and such. But now for my analysis. This is a really good series. It's reminded me a lot of Devilman. You can definitely tell that the manga this is based off of was the prototype Devilman. Although the anime wasn't made until 2009. In fact, Ryo Utsuki is very much a prototype Akira in his appearance and some traits of his personality. I'd say Akira is definitely a better character, but that's also partially because the Demon Lord Dante manga never got finished. In fact, around the time they made the anime, Gonagai was actually making the sequel to Demon Lord Dante, which would finish it, and because of that, they had to make up their own ending for the anime version. And I think the ending works really well. It ties up a bunch of things, and it, without saying too much, it gives a satisfying conclusion, more or less. The thing about this series, though, is Gonagai wrote it originally with a twist in mind, and that twist is he wanted to portray the forces of the devil as good, and the forces of God as evil, because he wanted to subvert that expectation that demons are evil. And like I said, that's kind of a spoiler. You don't find that out until around episode 6 or so, I think. There's 13 total episodes. The way that the gods and demons are portrayed in this are very different than the traditional way that God and demons are portrayed. God isn't really this creator. He's more of like a being that goes from world to world and imposes his will upon it. I won't say too much more because, again, that would be major spoiler territory. The thing that's very interesting that they very much make clear from the start is Ryo is a child of the devil, whereas his sister Saori is more of a child of God. And there's more to it that they explain later involving lightness and dark. But again, I'm not going to spoil the entire thing because I definitely encourage you watch it. There are a couple of really weird things that kind of threw me off. Like Dante's very first transformation millions of years ago, back when he became Demon Lord Dante is a bit weird, and uh, it's not a traditional demon. That's one thing that kind of bugged me about it, is the demons aren't traditional demons. They started out as human, and the way Dante becomes Dante is a bit odd. But nevertheless, it was enjoyable, and it had a lot of nice different takes on demons and such. It also mixed in a ton of different mythologies. It had some Greek in there, with like Medusa being a character. Obviously, Dante's namesake comes from Dante Alighieri, the one who wrote the Divine Comedy, which, if you don't know, the Divine Comedy was one of the biggest influences on Go Nagai's works, so you can definitely see that with a lot of them. Particularly his demon stories, be it Devil Man, Shootin' Doji, whatever. This is a good one. It's nowhere near as good as Devil Man, but I definitely recommend it. When I looked when I looked this up on Wikipedia originally, I was reading some of the reception, because although I don't agree with critics, I do sometimes like to see what they think of things, because frankly, I don't take their opinions very seriously. But regardless, that's a different point for a different video. I don't really like film and TV critics, or game critics for that matter. And one of the things critics were saying about Demon Lord Dante is they said it was kind of a mess with the mythology being all mixed. I thought they meshed together really well. I don't know what the fuck those people are talking about. They also said it came across as a poor man's Yorotsuki Doji. And I gotta say, I've watched the first two arcs comprising the first five episodes of Yorotsuki Doji so far, and the literally the only thing the two have in common is demons. That is it. 
I don't know what the hell these people are on about, but that is the only common factor. Another thing I want to point out is the anime of this wasn't really that gory and had no sexual content, so to speak. And to me, that seems kind of unlike Gona Guy, so I'm willing to bet that the original manga is probably much more explicit. I could be wrong, I haven't yet read it, but again, it seems a bit odd to me how toned down this felt. That being said, because it was toned down, it is able to reach a wider audience, I suppose, but uh, it's definitely worth a watch. It's only 13 episodes long, and it's a hell of a good watch. As I said, it is the proto Devilman, so I had to see it because I am a hardcore Devilman fan, as I have stated before. So yeah, that does it for my review of the Demon Lord Dante 2009 anime adaptation. I will be reviewing the manga in the future, but uh, anyway, this has been Fugitive Red Eye. Have a great day.